Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you the final version of my tiny journal that I made with you in the last video that I'm going to link right here. And also I want to show you something else I made with all the scraps from that project. So let's get started. So I made a few changes as you can see. Uh, I'm going to try to insert a picture of how the journal was when I finished it last week in uh, last week's videos. So it didn't have a closure and I didn't, it didn't have this uh, part in the spine. So what I ended up doing is adding a third signature in the middle. So you can see it really bothered me the space between the two signatures. So I added a third signature. I had enough envelope papers to make a third signature so I didn't have to find more envelopes so it was all from the materials that I used in that previous video and then I really didn't like how my three signatures looked like here because I made them without a template and they were crooked and I didn't like it so I covered it with another piece of envelope paper. So this was a brown envelope that had some texture and I used that to cover um, the spine and I and through my binding threads I passed this ribbon and then when I glued this all together I added some extra glue so this is very well secured. I also added some book corners in the four corners and we're gonna see what's inside. Just as a reminder, if you didn't watch my previous video, this project was made exclusively out of trash, mostly junk mail envelopes, um, because all the security envelopes have patterns inside, so I wanted to make a journal just with those pattern papers. And the cover, it's made with a product box, it was a sample of a skincare, so it was a tiny, tiny box, and it ended up being a very, very tiny journal. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so I decorated the front cover, as you can see. Um, when I added this piece, this piece of paper here to cover the spine, I ended up getting rid of that stamp that was on the side that I really liked, but... Um, I like this look better anyways. So what I did was to make a book name using more, all the papers that I used here came from envelopes. So I don't want to keep repeating that. <laughs> I used papers from the envelopes and, and I wrote journal. Then I cut, I don't know if you can see, but to kind of simulate a stamp to, to stay within the theme, I cut around with, with thinning shears that give that stamp effect and then I stamped with a postage stamp I'm gonna say stamp way too much on this <laughs> on there to just keep that male theme all around so in the inside cover we have a pocket again made with that paper and so I put some things I think I'm gonna give this away to someone um, so I'm hoping that they can use the little surprises I put. So this was a tricky thing, finding ephemera that it's so small. <laughs> so these are some, this is a stamp sticker. This is a, no, this is a piece of paper. It's a Van Gogh painting. And this is a piece of washi tape. It's a white washi tape I have. I try to keep all the ephemera in this journal to be, again, mail related. So I try to include letters and more stamps. So I'm gonna try to go fast through all the papers, but the fun thing about this journal is that every page is a different pattern. I'm not sure if they repeat because some of them might repeat, I'm not sure. So this one I put it, I was putting all the patterns on this side, but then this one I did it on the other side. And this is the middle of the first signature. I put another stamp sticker there, um, a leaf sticker, and then this, this is another piece of ephemera that it's, it's like a letter. 
so it's like a vintage litter so this is the other side so we're gonna see the same patterns some of them have these you know so, uh, barcodes and writings from the envelope so i don't know if you 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 can collage on those those sides you can collage in the whole thing um you can write or you can use it uh, just to keep a sample of papers and maybe if you need papers for something else that was my original idea to just rip it um but then i'll show you what i did to actually do that okay so this is the second signature uh the one this i added this after i made this journal on camera so i added an extra signature so i think it it's much better with a third signature i really like this design and also this one they're super cool also this <laughs> i like them all um i really like that it's, it's a fun thing to look more stamp uh, stickers and a flower sticker and this i had to cut down some of my ephemera paper because they were too big and they didn't fit in my envelopes even if i uh, sorry they didn't fit in my pockets even if i folded them very small so this this is half of a postcard ephemera because it, it it's a very tiny 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 journal tiny and fun i should say okay so we continue so there is more and this is the third and last signature um here's that brown paper that I, I used a lot I still have a bunch of paper from that envelope I, I use it a lot um I think this well this pattern repeats but um you cannot feel it this actually has texture it has like lines you can see here on this side I don't know if you can see those lines are raised so it has it has a texture that the other the other i call it this is a brick paper the other brick paper doesn't have that texture i find this one very interesting too and i li really like that this deep blue um the other the middle of the signature i think i used the other part of the postcard in here maybe let's see yeah i think this is the other half of that paper that i had to cut and more stickers and we continue so these are all the same as the other side and at the end uh, i made another pocket in the in the back cover and i put i put a painting and more stickers um they're very tiny pockets so it's it was hard to put things in there and so you close this by making a knot a knot and a bow if you want and that's my tiny tiny journal made out of junk mail envelopes okay so that's the journal and then i had tons 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 of scrap paper so i put them in these little uh, paper pads that i separate them by size and i recently watched a, a video by Natasha from Treasure Books, where she did disturb books um, using this technique. I'm not good at sewing, so you can see. So this is, I put this through my sewing machine and it's not straight. <laughs> uh, so the idea is that if you sew this very tight with a very tight stitch, you can then tear the paper. I haven't done it. I'm excited to try one <laughs> with you. Okay, I'm gonna try the tiny one. Let's see. Does it work? Yes. <laughs> so that's exciting. So now um, I can use this for my collages or whatever I want. So whenever I want to, oh, I want to use some sort of, you know, paper. Oh, now I wonder, can I tear the ones in the middle? Let's try with, with another of the small one. I don't want to tear. Okay, let's see this one. Oh yes, you can tear from the middle too. There you have it, a way to have your pattern papers in a more organized way, easy to see, and then you can go and tear them as you need them for your collages or whatever you want. 
I still have uh, scraps <laughs> that I think at this point, the ones that are too small, I'm gonna throw away, but I may make some um, master boards if I have enough or just save them to use in my collages. So that's all for today. So I just wanted to show you my, the final uh, flip through of the tiny journal. So this is the second part of this journal making video. And I wanted to show you this tear knot pads that are very fun and easy to use. So I hope you make something out of your junk envelopes. I hope you enjoy the patterns and designs in those envelopes as much as I do. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.